Hi, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. Today's tutorial is on how to take pictures of birds when it's cloudy outside and still get amazing color with them, make it so that it doesn't look like a drab, cloudy day kind of image. And it's possible to do that. There are three major tips. Tip number one is keep the sky out of the picture. So you can see here, there's a lot of gray sky in the background, just doesn't look that good. If I raise the camera up and get a different angle on it, I can position the camera a little bit so now there's no sky in the background. This is going to make things look a lot better. That nice green background looks tremendously better than that gray sky background. So that's your number one tip. So this is a good demonstration for tip number two. You can see I've got sky in the background and you can see my camera set up back there. We'll use that for tip number three. But if I get closer to my subject, right? Let's say that there's a bird back in these bushes. If I get back here and I'm closer to the subject, I'm gonna have more green in the background and very little sky in the background. Keep the sky out of the background, get close to your subject, get within 20 feet. The closer you can get, the better off you're gonna be for this. Tip number three is to use flash. We have the 600 millimeter lens and the Canon 5D Mark IV set up with an off-camera flash cord, a little extra extension in here. And then up here, I set the flash exposure compensation to minus three. So I set the exposure compensation on the flash unit to minus three because I just wanna add a little bit of light. I'm adding light so that the natural colors of the birds come out. And minus three will do that. You might have to go to minus two for the exposure compensation on the flash, but the idea is not to add so much light that you blow out the image or you're brightening things too artificially. You want it to be subtle. Now, the other things that I do is I use the CTO gel, 1 8 power. I'll link to the how to use the CTO gel video that I did earlier. So this is the Canon 580 EX2 flash. To change the exposure compensation on this, all I have to do is press this button in the middle and turn this dial. And I can take it down to uh, two really easily or I can take it down to one really easily. So I was down on the Oregon coast a couple of winters ago. It was February. Here's a picture of Newport Beach on a cloudy day in the wintertime and there's a mountain plover in this scene. You can see that I've got my camera all the way down to the ground so I'm shooting with a good point of view, eye level. You can see that I have the flash unit on and I've got a CTO gel on there. Here's a picture of the bird without any flash and then here's a picture of the bird with the CTO and the flash. And you can see that by keeping the sky out of the image, by using the CTO gel, and by getting close to the bird, all of those three things add up to making a really good picture. Hey, if you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel, give me a like and a subscribe. Share this with your friends. They might like to learn more about bird photography as well. If you want to learn more about bird photography, check out my workshops at timboyerphotography.com. I do about eight workshops a year through the Western United States. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.